Hey everybody, Christine here to make a box opening video for a Digi Dolls Ponta. This is an MSD sized doll. Looks like it comes in a pretty small box. And it was an artist doll from somebody who I found on Instagram named Digi Dolls. Now, this is the first time that they have produced this doll. Uh, some of the other people were posting that they received her today. And I was one of those lucky people who also received her today. Let's see. Okay, we have a little card. I almost don't want to open it. You know what? I'll put it to the side for right now. Might be her COA. Here's what the Digi Dolls box looks like. Very, very cute. Well, let's check her out. I don't want to mess up the box. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. She's a little pup, a puppy. I figured I'd wear my little cat ears. I don't have dog ears, not yet at least. Okay. Um, here are all her hands and ears. Wow, her ears are very big. She seems to be on the short end of MSD. And here's my cat. And there she goes. Okay, there will be doll nudity, as expected from my videos. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, she's so pretty. Okay, let me take this off. Wow. So here's what she looks like. She's very nice looking, like the resin's very good. Um, she's heavy. I have to find, or not find, I have to get her uh, hands and put her ears on. She has a removable face plate with an S hook inside. The artist made this doll on a computer program so Ponta has a very perfectly looking um, face. It doesn't look, uh, what's it called? Um, uneven like some um, dolls that are cast by hand. Let's see, will she stand on the table? Hmm. There we go. So she stands on the table. Let me get out all of the little parts. Oh my gosh, she has a tail that's so cute. How cute is that? Let's put the ears on. Nope, that's the wrong side. She has one little folded ear and then she has an ear that sticks up. Let me get the hands. Oh, what's in here? I don't know what this is. Oh, she's got three sets of hands. Very nice. So she has the peace sign hands, she has fist hands, and then she has open hands. So I guess I can pick and choose. But she does have magnetic um, hands, so they seem to work pretty well. The magnets seem good. I wonder if her feet are magnetic. I have to check that. Nish, what are you doing? Oh my gosh, how cute. She seems to pose pretty well. Um, her knees are single jointed, but her arms are double jointed. So I'll go over that in a second. Let me just check her feet real quick. Her feet are not uh, magnetic. They're like forever in... Uh, What's it called? Uh, heel version. Oh my gosh, how cute is she? This is the uh, tan skin version. I don't know what the specific tan was called, but she's so cute. Oh my gosh. Her arms seem to work very well. They're not going out of place or snapping back or anything. Wow, I'm actually really impressed you can move her tail around 
it doesn't seem to fall off. It's actually pretty good. Let me put it like this so you guys can see the back end. Will you stand for me? Yep. And she's even leaning forward, but because of her tail, I guess it's keeping her up. So let's look over the body real quick. I'm going to zoom into the head. I'm going to see how it goes up and down. Put those off. Put these down. Okay, so she can look down just a little. Um, she can't look up too much. <clears throat> Let's see side to side. Not too much side to side. So this is her, oops, her limited side to side motion. Um, she can lean forward. This is what it looks like in the back. She can lean back a lot. Very nice. I wonder if she can... Oh, she can. She could do one of those, like, sitting up things. But she can't put her head all the way. Perhaps I'll have to put a washer there to get her head to move more. Okay, let me put her back. Here we go. Her arms seem to have really good motion, but let's check them out again. So, there's the 90 degree angle. I guess one of her hands fell off. Bloop, there we go. Or I took it off, I don't know. Then she can hold them up. She can hold them out. They seem to stay where I put them, which is nice. Like I said, these magnets are actually really, really good. So, I remember uh, the magnets on my um, Wrap 1993 Danny were a little flimsy and would kind of fall, or it would make everything fall. And this resin is pretty heavy, but she seems very well made. Okay, and then let's see, can she touch her face? Yep. So here, oops, after I just said your magnets are good, sheesh, there we go. So she can definitely touch her face. Let's move on down. She is, um, she's only got a two part torso, so there's no waist joint. And she also does not have the mobility joint on her thigh. She is single jointed on the leg. So here's the bump for the single joint. But it seems like she can hold up her leg pretty well. Also at a 90 degree angle or even a little bit more. Can she stand up like this, I wonder? She probably can, but this table's not very straight. Let's see. Can you stand up? That'd be pretty cool if you could. Especially because, oh my gosh, fantastic. So she can stand on one leg on a flimsy table. Okay, but she can't stay up. Worth a shot. So I guess when she kneels, this is what she would look like. And then if I wanted her to go forward, let's see, she would look like this. Very, very cute. Oh my gosh, I love her. She's so cute. Oh, I have so many face-ups to do. All right, let's check these legs. Or excuse me, not the legs, the feet. <laughs> Let me put this down. Okay, so she can do this and she can do this. And even though she has like the heeled feet, because you know, she's a pup, she still has a pretty decent sized a bottom of her foot. So I can see why it's not difficult for her to stand. These feet are pretty wide. In fact, all of this be really wide. Mm. 
Girl, dang. She looks cute. I'd, I'd die for a body like this. All right, so I'm gonna take some pictures of her so you guys can see. Um, she looks like she's got some pretty large eyes, maybe 16 or 18 millimeter eyes. I have to check that out. Um, and then, yeah, I'll have pictures for you guys. Bloop, gotta put this back on. Thank you for watching my video, guys. Oh, yay, I'm so excited.